What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back. So, we are here. We finally have our sacrilegious ring, and we're here to test it out just to kind of showcase. I'm so happy this is that this is back. We are actually on our Necromancer Bone Spear build, which is even better. I can't wait to finally put together Sever for this, so that way I don't have to cast any corpse skills. For those who don't remember the sacrilegious ring, it's the sacrilegious power from the Malignant Season 1, where all of our corpse skills are automatically cast. So as long as the corpse skill is on the bar, which is what you see here with corpse explosion and corpse tendrils, every 1.6 seconds we would raise the skeleton if we had that. The same 1.6, our corpse explosion is going to explode. And then every 13 seconds is going to be tendrils. Now, I really hope that I can find a max one here and just get an 8 seconds corpse tendrils because that's the main one. But we're going to showcase this just a little bit because I'm so happy that this is back because it's insane. We're on a lice watch just doing a 71 here. Nothing too crazy. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see how this feels. Oh, man. We don't even have to press anything. Check it out. Check it out. Don't got to press nothing, man. We're, we're going to be able to play Sever again. It's going to be great. It is going to be great. I should go put on my... Uh, I should go put on my, my Shaco. Oh, man. This is great. This is great. The, the 13 seconds on Corpse Tendrils is a bit long, but what is it? Is it 13 seconds? Yeah, we, we definitely got to get a better roll. Eight seconds is probably going to be, is probably just going to be better, but the increased damage that we're getting from our Corpse Explosion is kind of bonkers. Because not only we're generating more mana, but we get the increased damage. Oh, it's so easy. And that's triggering every 1.5 seconds. Super easy. Oh, man. I love it. I don't have to press any buttons, dude. It's so good. So good, man. I'll take protection. Oh, perfect. I mean, I don't really need to kill all these guys, but... It's a nice little showcase. Let's just leave those guys. That's pretty insane. Did we kill the person we needed to yeah, slay the Watchman? Let's just slay the Watchman and go do the boss. But holy crap, man. How cool is that, dude? And we don't even have to... Oh, God, man. I really hope that not only does this stay permanent, but, like, they do things like this in the future. Because, you know, the devs had talked about giving us things that you know are going to be permanent in the game from seasons and they would just decide whether like it's something that they wanted to keep or not you know what i mean so the fact that they took season one and the overwhelming like positive response of the malignant powers at least some of the good ones you know that they're gonna they're gonna keep in here, which is just awesome. I really hope that they continue to do stuff like this um, in the future, and and how it's not like exactly the same, so it still takes up a gem slot. I kind of really enjoy that it's a uh, that it's a another ring, and it kind of shapes up shapes up like mixes up a lot of the builds because now you're kind of sacrificing. Like in this build right now, guys. We're sacrificing Torment, right, for uh, the Sacrilegious Ring. Now, I'm going to swap these and just try to use uh, Torment instead of Exposed Flesh. I think Exposed Flesh might just be better, but uh, let's see. I think we're about to fight the boss, right? Let's see. Let's see if the other one's better or not. I don't know if the other one's better. But the Chris Strike chance on our, all of our stuff is kind of insane when you think about it. Yeah, it's kind of silly because of like how much Chris Strike chance we get. Torment might actually be better. I just gotta, I just gotta make sure I'm not like spamming too hard. You gotta remember how to play Bone Spear here. You know what I mean? You gotta remember it's kind of like using a shotgun.
Oh boy. Be careful, war. These guys are dangerous. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of think torment might be, be might be better. I'm not sure here. I really like exposed flesh, though. It's really good. All right, here we go. Let's go fight the boss and see how we do, man. So great, man. We just don't even have to cast anything. And you're dead. Of course, Bone Spear is insane. And we get a, a, a two-handed scythe. <laughs> we get another bloodless scream. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and level up my Undaunted for my build. I didn't even realize I don't have this leveled up yet. Could really use the extra damage reduction here. Holy crap, man. But guys, Sacrilegious is back. The powers are here. This ring is absolutely nuts, okay, for a few reasons. Real quick, just talk about, you see how smooth the Necromancer becomes, right? See how smooth the Necromancer becomes when you're casting your corpse skills. Um, now, a few things with this, okay? I think this is a very good thing to have in the game, and it's going to be one of those rings now that it's going to be required on most Necromancer builds, and that's okay. But the ring is nuts, right? Like, Corpse Tendrils by itself, even with nine ranks, is still an eight-second cooldown. Right, so that's going to be the same as a max corpse tendrils, which is or max sacrilegious, which is fine, because even casting this off cooldown is fine. Like doing this, but the biggest issues is probably corpse explosion, as well as your raised skeleton. Right, when you're trying to fight, when you're trying to fight monsters, you know you're bone spearing, right? You're casting, and then you're like, all my minions are dead. Now I need to spam my ray skeleton and then oh wait i also need to get all my triggers i need to spam corpse explosion at the same time so now you're like spamming skeleton spamming skeleton right okay okay that's done now now let me let me do corpse explosion because this is all that i can do all right all right everything's back up okay now let's fight you know so it makes playing necromancer pretty clunky it makes it playing pretty clunky i'm very happy with that like at one second on a max for Ray's skeleton and corpse explosion. I think that's just very, very good. Very strong. I think it's very well balanced even at the maxes here at eight seconds. Because again, unless you had like a 12, you know what I mean? Like you had a 12 on here. You're not getting like much lower than eight seconds. I mean, you are to a degree, but it's not, it's not an insane amount. So if I come down and like, let's say I just take points out of this and I just max this, right? I'm at 7.7 .7 seconds, so I'm just under. Just under. And again, it's it's just really not that big of a difference. So I think the ring is just insanely strong. It makes playing the Necromancer so much smoother, so much better, especially in a lot of builds, especially the shadow builds. Because there's a lot of shadow builds where, you know, you require Corpse Explosion to be going off all the time, and you can't do that and spam your, like, Sever or blight while you're just running around just doing this the entire time because of how much damage you're dealing like this is not how the necromancer is supposed to be played you know one two three and then you go but anyway that is the little showcase guys the sacrilegious ring is here it's absolutely insane i think it just makes playing necromancer so much smoother and so much more satisfying and better for players especially in the end game but yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you think about the brand new ring and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.